Hey YouTube, Tamara here, and it is time for something a little different. Time for us to get our grooves back, hey. I'm sorry, I probably will never do that again. No, but seriously, today we are going to take a little trip into the music that plays in my brain sometimes for the Five Friday. This is a thing that Sarah Crawford made and I will put a link to the Tumblr and the downstairs so you can know what are the new categories that are happening every Friday about music. And who doesn't love music? I know I do. So today's top five picks are five unique voices that you love. So I don't like to put things in any particular order so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to do it in order of what I remember first. And the first I remember is Michael McDonald. I'm taking it back old school, okay? He has, he is very old school. Some of you might not know of him. He's a singer from the 60s, 70s, and beyond. And he made an album as early as last year, actually. He started with Steely Dan. He played some backup and did uh, backup vocals. And from there, he joined uh, the Doobie Brothers. And he has this distinctive sound, like there's marbles and cotton candy in his mouth. Like, Cause it sounds good, so whatever. Roll those marbles. Do it. I love it. My next stop in this crazy train called My Brain, New York. Yes, the Icelandic princess who tried to take out that reporter years ago because the chick was trying to get a picture of her kid. No, she's not about that life. And remember that the duck outfit, the swan thing with the head, that was weird. But she is weird. <laughs> so what? Her music is astonishing. Just the music itself is so layered, intricate, beautiful. But then you add her voice on top of it. It's, it's, she almost sounds like a symphony within herself. It's amazing, breathtaking, I love it. She started out her career with the Sugar Cubes before she became the Bjork we know and love today. My favorite album from hers is Homogenic. From beginning to end, it's just a masterpiece. Okay, so that's two voices. A third, Prince. Now Prince, I was sure that we were gonna get married and we would both be wearing really cute pumps on the wedding day. It was going to be awesome. We'd be dressed in purple. Well, that didn't happen. But what did happen was that I still love his music <laughs> and probably always will. Now, there's the prince that has those like jams where you can move and dance and you know shake your groove thing. But then there's that prince that kind of slows it down, gets a little deep with it. That's what I like. But no matter what he's singing, I know who that voice is. Marvelous. The third person I'm thinking of is Janis Joplin. Her voice is so, so distinctive. You can hear her pain crawls through every single note that she emits. Like, you can hear, you can hear the whiskey and the tears. And they like fall on you when she's talking about anything even her songs that are happy there's still that edge of sadness under the mania love it love it actually uh me and bobby mcgee that's one of my staples one of my uh scariocchi staples when chill wiper slapping time i was holding bobby's hand in mine we sing every song that daddy knew. 
<laughs> love that. So another very, very, very distinctive voice, Maynard Keenan from Tool. And he's also in some um, side projects as well. Um, A Perfect Circle, Pussifer. He also makes wine, and I think that he was, was he a soccer coach? I don't know, he has a lot going on. But my favorite music from him is Tool. Um, I got to see them perform in 99? Uh, 99 in Pittsburgh and it was incredible, amazing. I don't know, I just, I love it, I love it. And before I knew who Pussy For Words, I heard his voice and I was like, Yes, I know who that is. Let me listen to this because it's going to be amazing. And it was. So we've talked about Michael McDonald, Prince, York, now Maynard. So the last voice that I am going to mention for the five distinct voices is... I have so many voices, like so many songs that I like. Tegan and Sarah, Fiona Apple, Amy Winehouse, oh, Mariah Carey, oh, Whitney Houston, oh my god, who will be the fifth that I choose? Olivia Newton John, where did that come from, Green? Okay, so the fifth person I'm going to choose is Tori Amos. She started in the 80s with Why Can't Tori Read and began playing by herself that Tori Amos became the beautiful, mysterious, crazy, red-headed creature that we know and love today. Uh, she plays piano. I think she plays harpsichord. She started playing when she was four years old. And she is pretty much a mad genius. I love her music and her voice. It's wails and growls and indistinct mumbles and then like the quietest touch on the words even if you can't understand everything she's saying even if you need to check out the liners of the song to know what she's talking about somehow it still hits reaches and resonates deep inside and that's what I love about her so that my friends my top five unique voices what do you agree with me? Do you have any others to add to the list? Let me know in the comments below because I love talking with you guys. You're so good. And if you want me to do more of these, please click the like button because I want to make sure that I'm doing stuff that you guys enjoy. And if you hated this, then I don't want to push you through something that you think is terrible. But I liked it. So I hope you liked it too. Again, my name is Tamara and this is where I hang out a couple times a week. And usually it's books and authors and writing and all those sorts of things. So I will see you next time in another video. Bye.